Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And today I will be showing you guys the FOV mod that I've installed into my uh, into my game. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. This is uh, only for PC only, so if you're on console, I'm sorry. But if you're on PC, I will leave a link in the description down below on how to install this FOV mod. This FOV mod will not get you banned. I've been using this FOV mod for about a year now, or a year and a half, I think. So, if you think it's going to get you banned, just know that it's not. You're perfectly okay. Um, this is it in first person, and it's also third person FOV. I really don't like the third, fir third person FOV. I'm really just showing you guys what it looks like. Because uh, once you do the camera changes, it gets really far back, as you can see. It looks really, um, I don't know. If you like the way this looks, then hey, you know, perfect. But if not, then yeah, uh, don't have the third person FOV. You can change it too. Like, I can make it to where it's no third person FOV, which looks like that. That's no third person FOV. And then, and then, but you can still have third person FOV. So you can switch it up, change it however you like it, customize it to however you like it. I like this, I like the way it looks. A lot of people say um, GTA 5 shouldn't have FOV, but um, to me, I think it looks better. Um, it makes it feel a little bit better. Um, there's no delay, so people say you should add delay. Nope. Good. The FOV mod is called Flawless Widescreen, so I'll leave all the information in the description down below so you guys have all the information you need to download it. And as long as you go step by step, it should be pretty good. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.